here. I'd like to uh, invite Dr. Subodh uh, for his talk on understanding EDOF IOLs. Good afternoon, everybody. At the outset, I would like to thank Chairman Scientific Committee AIS and all the moderators to allow me to speak on understanding area of lenses. No financial interest in any of these lenses. Now, what is accommodation? Accommodation is a process by which our eye changes the refractive power so as to get a clear image of an object as the object varies its distance. Now, as our age is young, there is a strong accommodation as we grow up our uh, in the young age, we lose the accommodation. In the presbyopic age, our accommodation is lost too much. Especially in a cataract patient, we have a presbyopic correction and we lose the accommodation. Now, how to restore the accommodation in pseudophakia? We have got plenty of options. We all are aware of it. First is a monovision where one eye is kept as myopic, little bit 1 to 1.25, and other eye emetropia, but still it has got its own sets of problems. Multifocal IELTS, we all do it that. It has got its own problems. I will discuss it. Accommodative IELTS, once it was very popular, but now it is not very popular. And we are going to discuss about extended depth focus lenses. The expectations are rising day by day. People are happy with the near vision, distant vision, but still they're asking, what about my intermediate distance? Especially the computer users or the drivers who, are, who want to see the picture in the front and also the speedometer. Now coming to the physics, monofocal lenses, we all know the rays coming from the distance are focused at a single point. We get a distinct single foci and thereby less hollows and low, less glare. In the multifocal lenses, we have got two distinct foci, so the light intensity get distributed and we get uh, glare and halos and uh, other sort of problems. In the extended depth of focus, we have an elongated focus. So compared to the monofocal, there is little bit of glare, but it is relatively less as compared to the monofocal, uh, multifocal lenses. So what are the demerits of multifocal IELTS? There is a reduced light intensity as the light gets distributed for the two foci. There is a reduced contrast sen sensitivity. There is a perception of rings. Visual aberrations like glare and halos are there and the subnormal intermediate visual performance is there and thereby impairing the quality of our life. So in extended depth of focus lenses, we get a clear little bit of near, uh, a little bit of a distance, uh, intermediate and a near. Sometimes we have to add our 1 to 1.25 uh, diopters plus lenses. Now what are the types of idea of IELTS? There are the pure, pure idea of lenses and hybrid idea of lenses. Pure idea of lenses are based on the aberration based idea of lenses, lenses and the hybrid lenses are based on the basis of diffractive, refractive or a pseudo non-diffractive beam refractive lenses. Also, they are classified in the base of uh, with the rings and without ring. The first generation is a technis wherein the peripheral power is uh, goes on increasing to the center for the near vision. And uh, nowadays, more popular is like a lucidus, which I always, I many times use it. No financial interest. In a technis, as I said, the uh, there is a continuous change in power from periphery to the center, and which gives a better intermediate distance from the center. Now, EDF by the pseudo non-diffractive beam diffraction, which uh, acts in the lucidus lenses. Between the diffracting and non-diffracting, there is a pseudo non-diffracting beam. Uh, coming to the physics, as we can see here, there's a diffracting beam coming from the distance. It is focused in the single foci and then it gets uh, uh, diffracted again. In case of a pseudo non-diffractive beam, instead of getting diffracted or from a single point, it is diffracted from an elongated foci and we get an elongated depth focus. And uh, Theoretically speaking, in a, in a light coming from a very infinite distance, we get infinite focal points. In a lucidus, it, uh, there is an axicon type of a lens where the Gaussian beams are refra uh, refracted and a basal beam is created, uh, which gives an elongated depth of focus in, uh, on a principle of Sturm's conoid. These are the uh, pseudo non-diffractive beam as I explained. There is a wafer interference through the spheric surface, a continuous range of right uh, goes and we give a near and intermediate vision. Idea positioning is also very important. We get a near vision, we get an uh, intermediate distance which is nearer to the near vision and a little bit away from the distance vision. 
also many times if it is positioned towards the hypermetropocyte we get uh, hypermetropocyte we get a distant image near image and little bit intermediate vision between the distant and the near so still there is a gap between the intermediate and a near or a, a near and intermediate but this gap is also uh, bridged by the neural adaptation method just like a case of a multifocal lenses these are the defocus curve which i got in the multifocal lenses wherein the vertical axis is with a distant uh, vision and the uh, dioptic power changes from 0.5 to 2.5 by with a distance of point uh, with a diopter of 0.5 1.5 so we get a dist uh, uh, distant vision and a near vision but there is a gap between in in a intermediate vision so a, a typical type of bi hump appearances appeared in the in a multifocal lenses while in a uh, ed of lenses we get a continuous lens uh, range of vision from near to the distant but still there is a drop in a near vision so we get a near intermediate and a distant vision this is a uh, tech extra technology which uh, in which the symphony lenses have come up where there is a uh, Eschler design profile which uh, it has got a unique design profile with a specifying of a ring height of a profile and a shape of a profile which gives not only the extended depth focus but also a chromaticity and uh, which gives a good quality of vision uh, we get a clear image of all the rays blue red and green technic synergy lenses have come up with a combination of diffractive and refractive technology along with the elongated depth focus they say it's pupil independent but i still doubt about it in a nutshell horizon is yet to come a natural crystalline lens is a perfect multifocal or a very focal lens which god has given to us in independence from the glasses comes at the cost of unwanted disturbing photic phenomena high cost continues to be a deterrent for the patient the near future we promise post operative adjustable lenses but they are in a very exp uh, experimental stage despite achieving uh, achievement of a near perfect post operative results the search for a perfect multifocal or idea of lenses continues thank you uh, very good presentation and elaborate study and understanding of the multifocal idea of lens dr subodh and uh, just i wanted to ask do you modify your oil power while Uh, selecting the required power for the vision. yes sir when i uh, go for a e, uh, for a first tire like of a dominant eye i go for a little bit of emetropic side mm -hmm. and for the other eye i go little bit myopic 0.5 uh, diopter something like that so what would uh, what is your preferred choice ed of lenses or uh, trifocal lenses in comparison if you choose you have to choose between those two those two No, I didn't get your question. Ed of lenses, you prefer or trifocal lenses? No, I prefer ed of lenses. Ed of lenses. Yes, sir, definitely ed of lenses. Yes. I had a question. What kind of uh, patient profile would you consider as an ideal, uh, you know, patient for these uh, lenses? Uh, yes, ma'am. <coughs> uh, definitely, I'll go for a just like a multifocal lenses where the cylindrical diopter is less than 0.75 diopter, and uh, not very myopic patient. I will go more prefer with the. um hypermetro patients and similar like that of multifocal lenses a housewife or so but still i have implanted in a male patients also but they are not complained about the rings or halos as we get in the multifocal lenses thank you so much we promise more and deliver less so that's our principle for that Thank you. Point noted, ma'am. Thank you.